The world of Netflix animation is going through a massive shakeup. You may want to put on your seatbelts for this one. It's a bumpy ride. For a few months now, industry professionals have been vague tweeting that something bad was going on at Netflix, specifically when it comes to animation. Cartoon crews were being laid off, a bunch of shows were cancelled, and creativity was thrown out the window. Outside viewers had no idea what exactly was happening, and we wouldn't find out until now. We have a bombshell about the future of Netflix, and it's all in this exclusive article from Drew Taylor at The Wrap. He got to talk with creators along with the streaming platform itself to figure out the situation. What kicks things off is the firing of Phil Rinda, Netflix's director of creative leadership and development for original animation. He's no longer at the company, along with people who work for him. According to several creators who spoke to the rep, the kids and family space in Netflix animation has changed. Series that benefited from great word of mouth and critical praise aren't being renewed, and several high-profile projects have been unceremoniously cancelled, including the long-delayed adaptation of Jeff Smith's beloved lovely comic book series Bone. Oh no, Bone is dead. Back in 2019, it was announced that these comics would finally get the animated adaptation it deserves. I was really looking forward to this one, and I'm not the only one. Even the creator himself has been trying to make a cartoon for so many years. The cancellation of Bone is extremely sad, and a sign that something's not going right behind the scenes. But okay, it's not like things can get any worse, right? No, they do. They get a lot worse. While the adult animation department seems mostly unaffected, kids and family cartoons are shutting down left and right. Aside from Bone, other cancelled projects include a TV show of the Twits, along with a new witch cartoon from Lauren Faust, Toil and Trouble. It also looks like we're not getting any more Centaur World and City of Ghosts. These are only a few of the names publicly mentioned in the article, but I'm confident there are more we don't know about. One producer, whose show on Netflix wasn't renewed, said that when they got to Netflix, Rinda, who served creative roles on groundbreaking animated series like Gravity Falls and Adventure Time, told Netflix creators, We want to be the home of everybody's favorite show. By the time the producer left several years later, there was a new thesis statement. We want to make what our audience wants to see. Reed Hastings, Netflix's co-CEO, now told Animation Talent. As far as mission statements go, those are vastly different. On that note, let's talk about one of the major red flags. Building off the terrible new mission statement, the company is heading down a concerning path. Netflix currently touts Boss Baby as the ideal of what an animated series on the platform should be and what kind of numbers those animated series should be bringing in. Yeah, the, the Boss Baby. You know, the shows they don't even make themselves? The shows that aren't nearly as creative or original as other projects? Are you and your brother having fun? Ah! Oh, nothing suspicious, I love you, bye! My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Netflix wants more cartoons to be like the boss baby, and that's a sentence I wish I never had to say out loud. Do you see the problem we're dealing with here? It's just not good. Another mention in the article is that Netflix is heavily relying on data to make their decisions. When it comes to the creators of Centaur World and City of Ghosts, they were willing to make more episodes thanks to the data. That was a big fat no. Of course, that kind of thing is normal. A show continues or ends based on the numbers. The problem is that Netflix isn't making this data available to the people who ask. Crew members want proof that their shows aren't doing well, but Netflix just ignores them. Now a few years ago, Netflix released this video that felt like an exciting new era of animation. They managed to get some of the biggest names in the medium. We got uh, James Baxter here, he's possibly the greatest living animator. I like doing all kinds of animation and I love doing things in different styles. I'm James Baxter, I'm the director of character animation. In a way, it's been kind of intimidating working with your heroes, but everyone's been so nice and encouraging and welcoming. These legends were given the resources they need, and it seems like a creator-driven approach that would actually work. However, fast forward to 2022. So many projects are being cancelled. People are moving to Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, or other streaming platforms. Unrelated to the situation, Netflix stock also plummeted. Hundreds of thousands of people are unsubscribing, millions more expected in the future. 
With this animation news out there, things are about to get even worse. But at the end of the day, I highly recommend reading Drew's full article since he did an incredible job with it. Today's a disappointing day for animation, but the medium will always go through ups and downs. We will come back from this. It may take some time, but creativity will find a way. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.